Moving on to round three, our extremely AD pleasing player who we think is the most valued or most undervalued and is most likely to outperform his current ADP is Juju Smith Schuster. Currently being drafted 30th overall, we have him ranked as our consensus 19th overall player. Um, yeah, crazy, yeah, crazy cr- value there. Why do you like Juju so much? I mean, we you have to just go back to two years ago. I mean, there was well, yeah. nothing to like. Yeah, there was nothing to like last year. We we've highlighted Juju pretty extensively, um, pretty extensively. Um, just if Ben Roethlisberger stays healthy. Um, that offense is just going to be a lot better. And that's like Juju Smith-Schuster, we were talking about going in like the back half of the first round or early second round last year. He was a Um, consensus top five receiver going into last season's drafts. And now he's being drafted in the middle of the third round. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, like just sign me up. I I would love to get him here. Um, I mean, Kenny Galladay going 26th, who we have as a as a top five wide receiver or top six wide receiver, I think, this year. Huge um, value there. Right. Going at the beginning of the third round is is crazy. Um, and then, I mean, my guy, Leonard Fournette, I don't know if you saw this or not, but he he's taping. Uh, he taped a hundred dollar bill on his uh, on his pads in practice. Because his goal is to have 100 yards rushing in every game. Um, for those of you at home, uh, if he stays healthy, that would be 1,600 yards. And um, if he okay, has okay, also if that's has, like you on, taping just, you that's just, like you taping on. a nickel on your back because you want to have five touchdowns a game. Like the a hundred dollar bill does not mean anything to good old Lenny Fournette. Are you saying a nickel matters to me? I'm saying proportionally, I think that you would be fine if you lost a nickel. Like, I think Lenny's going to be fine if he drops a hundred dollar bill on the ground. Okay, that's fine. I would just like to say that I think Leonard Fournette is a dime this year. um, And and somebody that you want on on your team. Uh, because he's going to have 1,600 yards rushing. Because How do I recover? My guy will do it. I mean, I'm just just let me bask in the glory of Leonard Fournette being great. And like, we're going to be like five weeks into the season and he's going to have like 650 yards and I'm just going to like strut into the podcast every week and be like, hey, uh, did you see uh, see my guy Leo? Yeah, 650 yards and one touchdown. Like, all right. Uh, If other running back value in the third round that we're seeing right now is Chris Carson currently being drafted behind Todd Gurley. Why is Chris Carson being drafted behind Todd Gurley? I mean, he is coming off of a torn ACL like that. that, He had a hip hip injury. Uh, I thought it was ACL. No, Carson had a hip injury. Okay. Well, it's, is uh, that Penny, better? Penny had the the ACL that was more than okay. an ACL. Okay. Um. But yeah, I I mean, like, in his last two years, Chris Carson, like everybody just thinks he gets hurt all the time. Chris Carson, in his last two years, he's played just as many games as Saquon has, and Saquon's going in the top three. Like, he's gonna be a three down back. I'm not worried about. Carlos Hyde, what's he on his like third or fourth team in five or six years? I mean, come on, man. Like, this is the Chris Carson show. He's gonna be a three down back, and Pete Carroll doesn't give a crap about a fumble. Like Carson Clearly. led the league in fumbles last year, and good old Pete Carroll didn't give one crap about it. Like, kept feeding him. Um I mean, eventually Penny kind of split carries because of it, but like Penny's not there and they're not putting in Carlos Hyde. At, at least. Yeah, hip, sorry, hip strain or hip fracture for Chris Carson at the end of last year. There you go. See, we got this. Between the two of us, man, we're going places. Um, On your so, back. There you go. So uh, to uh, me, in the third round, if you're looking for a running back and Joe Mixon's gone, who's going at the beginning of the third round, uh, currently going 25th overall. I think you're looking Chris Carson or Leonard Fournette. 
Um, and then if they're gone, you're looking for Gurley. Gurley's currently or, going in front of both of them. And then wide or, receiver value. Or like Juju. James Conner, like who's going in round five currently. Yeah, like, I, it's a, he's it's our okay. target. Like, he's our value in round five. Like sh- spoiler alert. Yeah, but like even like a, you know, a James Conner going in front of Todd Gurley or in front of um, just some of these other guys that we're going to talk about in the next round is just yeah, yeah. like yeah you should be we yeah uh, I was going to say let's get through round four and then yes please let's get back to James oh, Conner's value yeah the the person that we think has the worst value in round three just to talk about him real quick is Odell um, just because people keep going on potential from from two years ago they're going uh, off the I name yeah, I don't know if anybody trusts Baker Mayfield um, yet he's, because... He's being drafted I mean, 36th overall. Him and Landry have the same stat line. Yeah. Um, and if we're really being honest, is there that big of a difference between Mitch Trubisky and Baker Mayfield at this point? I don't think there is. Um, and so... I, I don't know I which think, one you're uh, insulting more there. I'll leave that up to the listeners. Um <laughs> But yeah, I, I think Odell's due for some uh, some craziness because he kept it in check last year. And so if, if he's not getting the damn ball to quote Keyshawn Johnson, um, I, I think you might see some explosions coming from that uh, wide receiver group in Cleveland. Yep. 